Hi, my name is Joe. In this episode, we'll talk about what is the difference between the PoE MVR and the PoE switch. According to the appearance, you can see they're totally quite different to border. Why we put them together? Because somehow, when you choose one of the de devices, it's going to determine what kind of system you can set up. First, let's take a look at the PoE MVR. The PoE, the PoE power module is being integrated to, into this box. So the whole connection is quite simple. You just need to wire the cable from one of these ports to your IP camera. It's going to send both power and data to the camera. And we also need to wire this uplink port to the router. Let me just make a quiet demonstration. We just need this short punch code and link the uplink port and connect to a router. So we will be able to access the whole system by using the mobile phone, PC computer, or tablet. And so you can see the whole system is simple. And it's also cost effective. You don't need to handle the, the, the other device. But you also may find the only four port, right? If you need more camera, you like you need the fifth camera, it's not going to help because the PoE port is limited. In this case, the PoE series is come to play. It. You can see this PoE switch, they are totally A PoE ports, which means it can handle up to A IP camera. So how we can use this PoE switch with the whole system? It's also not difficult. We need to hook up this PoE switch to the same network, then we will be able to connect the additional IP camera to this port. So it's going to supply more camera. Let me just make a quiet setup. We need to use another short punch code and link one of the uplink port. Okay, this is uplink port. And connect to the same router. Then the whole system is just stay within the same network. The another reason you may want to use the PoE switch, it's about the reliability. I got a message from one of the customer. He said the PoE power, PoE part is damaged in his PoE MVR. Is it working if we just use another PoE switch to replace? I, I think if just the whole module is damaged, it could be the problem. You see there's uplink port, not just the power port to the camera. If the uplink port is also damaged, that means the whole MVR is unable to talk to the router. Then it, you cannot use the PoE switch to replace this part, which means that if some part of the PoE MVR is damaged, you need to replace the whole system. You're going to lose the, all the video from the camera. But if you're use, using the PoE switch, even the recorder is damaged, you still can access the camera remotely. You just cannot, you just don't have the recording footage. And also you can see the power source is built into this box, which means it's going to be more hot inside. When you have the PoE switch, the power source is being separated from the box. So in that case, it's going to cooking your PoE MVR. It may shorten the use life. That's why I'm talking about the reliability. There are one bonus by using the PoE switch. We can have a second recorder in the system. Now you can see we just link one of the recorder to the router, which means this recorder is recording. But I can tell you, you, you also can have another recorder and recording all the camera. Let me just make a quiet demonstration. This is second recorder. What I need to do, I just need one punch code and link this recorder to the PoE switch or the router. They will be the same. Let me just do it. Now I've got the punch code. And also pick one of the port. So both recorder will keep recording from the same cameras. In this case, if one of the recorder is damaged or is by, your, by the criminal or is stolen, you still have an additional recorder is recording. So you can put this recorder hiding somewhere on your note. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about the PoE switch and the PoE MVR, you can please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.